Hello everyone, this is Ethan Horn, owner of Godly Dragon Reviews and Apologetics. I just thought I would make this little video to talk about the new president of the United States of America. As we all know, Barack Obama has stepped down from the position of president and yesterday was the inauguration of our new president, Donald J. Trump. Donald Trump is a famous business celebrity and television personality known for being the star of his TV show called The Apprentice. Back in the summer of 2015, he announced that he would be running for president. Now, in all honesty, when I heard that Donald Trump of all people was running for president, I thought it was some kind of joke. In fact, if someone had told everyone that Trump was running for president 10 years ago, most people would have laughed and said that's not going to happen. That's what I thought when Trump ran for president in 2015. See, when I was thinking about the elections, I was looking at all the other Republican candidates aside from Trump. The candidates I liked the most were Ted Cruz, Mike Huckabee, and Ben Carson, since there are evangelical Christians. And I really wanted to have a devoted Christian president running our country. But you know what? That's not what happened. Near the end of it all, the remaining two candidates to compete for the office of president were Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. This was not an easy choice for lots of people including myself. In the end, I voted for Donald Trump over Hillary Clinton since I favored the Republican Party's beliefs and values over the Democratic Party. And that's the way lots of other evangelical Christians voted as well. But there was also a small crowd of Christians that voted for Hillary Clinton because they see Trump as too unstable and rash to be a good president. Now, here's the thing. I don't believe you are any less of a Christian if you voted for Hillary Clinton. Nor are you any less of a Christian if you voted for Donald Trump. Each of us in the body of Christ voted for our choice of candidate for our own reasons. And so instead of dividing each other over it, we should all get together and talk to each other about the reasons why we voted for the candidate that we did so that we can have an understanding discussion about it rather than polarizing the body of Christ. When Donald Trump got elected president, there were lots of very happy people who were happy about it. There were also lots of people who were very surprised, shocked, confused, and bewildered, including even some of the body of Christ. We thought we would get another Clinton, but out came a Trump. And you, But you know what? Constantly bickering about it isn't going to change everything. Trump became our president and that's what happened. And now there's nothing we can do about it. You don't have to like Donald Trump or agree with him, but we do need to support him as our new president. I hope that Donald Trump will be a great president. Because if you want Trump to crash and burn, just so you can say, I told you so, then that's like, um... S sorry, lost my train of thought. Then that's like wanting the pilot to crash the plane we are all on. If you're on board and excited about Donald Trump being our new president and hoping he will keep his promises and be a great president, then I am with you on that. But if you are really worried and anxious about Donald Trump being our president, then here's what you can do. You can pray for our new president. And you can also pray for our new vice president, Mike Pence, and for all the people that Trump has chosen for his cabinet. The fact that Trump is our president is no accident. I believe it's God's will that Trump leads this country for better or worse, because no matter who gets elected, God always has a plan. I, I don't even think Barack Obama's presidency, presidency was an accident either. None of the presidents that were put in place were accidents, because I believe that each president has done things for better or worse that are all part of God's plan. So we need to continue to trust God with who he allows to lead the United States of America. Regardless of whether you voted for Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton, we still need to stay together as one body of Christ and continue to live our lives by sharing the gospel with other people and doing everything we can to make the world a better place. God still wants us to be a light in a darkened world, and I pray that we will adjust smoothly out of the Obama administration and into the Trump administration. May God bless each and every one of you, and let's all work together to make America great again. Father God, we lay hands on Donald J. Trump this evening. I pray that he will keep his promises and do good things for our country, and that he will take the office of president seriously and make the right decisions. 
And I pray that through this experience, he will grow into a man of God and into one of the best presidents that America has ever had. Lord, if that's your will, let it be done. I pray this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you, Donald Trump. The fate of America rests in your hands, and we are counting on you to do a good job. And God bless America. Godly Dragon Reviews and Apologetics is a branch of Godly Dragon Ministries.